Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're gonna be cleaning up my Funko Pop office. So, let's get started. All right, so I have a couple things that I wanna to do today because what happens is I come here, I film, and then I leave. Sometimes I'll stay for a bit and edit and, or make a photo or something like that, but I don't really clean up after I'm done filming. So I have some stuff that I wanna to do today. I have a checklist of three things that I wanna to complete today. One of them being clean up out here. This one shouldn't be too bad. It's a bit easier. It's just like a couple things on the table and stuff like that. Um, you know, maybe fix up whatever's in the mini fridge, clean up the couch, that kind of thing. Um, that's pretty clean. Maybe move this over a bit. I don't know, but you know, small things like that. After that, I want to um, take all of my pocket pops because you guys have been asking to see the collection. So we're gonna be putting them on the board like I've been wanting to do for a while. I bought a giant cork board and I'm gonna put them all on there. So I have some of them in boxes already, like these guys here. We've got like a big stack of them here and then some in the other room as well. So we're gonna do that today, that'll be fun. And then the last thing I think I'm gonna do is just kind of oof, organize this room a bit. So. In here is just kind of a bit of a mess. Like, this isn't too bad, the table. That's just some stuff from the video I filmed yesterday. Here's kind of the mess, though, in a way. So this is the big one. I'm gonna have to fix that up a bit. These ones are ones from our Guess That price, so we'll just have to put those back on the shelves, maybe fix up this area a bit. Um, but overall, not too bad. I just wanted to do this with you guys because I thought it'd be kind of fun, and you guys like to see more of the office than just, you know, right here. So, anyways, guys, let's get started with the first thing, which should be clean up the front room. Right, guys well that seems to be about it for this room there honestly wasn't that much I pretty much just had to clean up the table but let's get on to the pocket pops because I'm sure that'll be pretty fun all right so I just set up the table here I put the light up now the pocket pops that I have some of them are up here um this is actually where a lot of them are up above these figures here like I've got a big stack of them there some up there um I also have some at home but I'm not gonna be doing those ones today just because I didn't bring them so maybe I'll do that another time off camera because there's not that many there I just uh kind of forgot about them then we also have the ones in here as well this room but I have to grab the board out of here because I haven't actually taken it out of the box I got it at the dollar store for like four bucks or something like that and it was a really great deal I just have to find it I think it oh here it is right here it's right here perfect not too bad all right guys so here it is right here I haven't actually taken it out yet so fingers crossed this looks nice I mean I saw one of them open while I was at the store so and it looked pretty good so we're gonna be cutting this open um, we'll figure this out it says do not lay flat I don't know why so I hope this is still okay I'm sure it's fine it's just so people don't step on it or whatever but anyways let's grab the tacks that I'm gonna be using because I have those clear ones I hope they look good that way I can kind of take them off and put them on if I want to and then just you know space out the tacks uh, properly probably like just enough to fit the figures there um, but anyways let's cut this open grab those tacks and grab the pocket pops. All right, so here's what I've got. And the good thing is, is that I, I know there's gonna be enough room to put more of them on there eventually. So I've got a bunch. This is what I've got, just like some random ones. I've got some Harry Potter ones, some Rick and Morty, some Disney, um, you know, uh, Dr. Sue, stuff like that. Anyway, so let's move these off to the side. We'll open up this cork board, see what it looks like. And here's the pins in case you guys are wondering. They're just these little clear ones. I think they're gonna be fine. If, if they don't look good, I can always switch them after. But um, I try to pick clear ones instead of the colored ones because the colored ones might be a little weird then I'd have all these different colored ones as well. So anyways, let's just cut into this and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. Actually, this is nicer than I expected. Okay, so it also has some wall mount stuff as well, which is really nice. So here it is, guys. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the back of it. This is the front here. I don't know what the difference is. I don't think you can stick it into the back there, but this is what it is. This is what it looks like. That's pretty good, guys, to be honest, for it being $4. Um, if it doesn't work out, whatever, but it's, it's pretty big and I hope this fits all of them. Uh, but yeah, let's move this off to the side and then we'll open it up. All right, guys, so there we go. We still got this one here, which I could take off, but that looks pretty nice. Honestly, this is the nicest cork board I've had in a long time. I've had this old one um, that wasn't very nice. It was kind of like, uh, it had like a bunch of holes in it and stuff like that. It was, anyways, it was a bit of an older one anyway. So I decided let's get this, we'll see how it goes. I guess I'll put like two or three on there to see what that looks like. Um, and then we'll figure it out. So we've got this Elvira one here. And then I also have, so that, that actually doesn't look too bad. I just need to know how close I have to put these after. So if I do Fox and Socks, I think I can do them right next to each other, but I think I should also try and see how many fit across before I start to tack them in, just to make sure that I can fit like a certain amount across and it doesn't look like get awkward towards the end. So let's do that first, um, and then we'll see how it goes after that.
Okay, wow. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is oddly perfect. I have to show you guys this. It fits exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It fits exactly 17 across. Like, guys, I can't make this up. Look at that. It fits exact. It goes from, like, the edge to edge. I don't know how that happened. Is that perfectly on there, too? It is. I don't know how that happened, but this is just oddly perfect. Anyways, let's hook them all on, and we'll see what it looks like when I stand it up. not bad anyways guys here are the first three um let me just try this before i continue any farther and uh they all fall over or something like that i'm starting with the batman gamer box the dc gamer box so let's see what this looks like when you tip it up oh that's really good guys look at that that's perfect okay so i've got the normal joker the glow in the dark one and the chase joker in the corner there um now i just gotta put the rest of them on there's a lot of them so uh we better hurry with this Okay, okay guys, so there is that, I think. I think I've got them all. Oh no, I've gotta get the normal Miles Morales down. But I am doing pretty good with this. This is looking really nice, way better than I expected. Also, if you're wondering on how to do this, if you guys are getting a cork board for it, the top hooks, I'll show you guys here. Look at that, that is keeping it so straight. I like this a lot actually. So the top hooks there where you normally hang it on like something at the store, um, if you just put the pin right into the top of it there and you're not, you're not if you're not so worried about it getting like kind of crimpled, crunched a little bit. Um, it looks completely fine. So there we go there guys, there's some of the first row. Now I just have to find a couple more to fit perfectly into that. And then we'll have to move on to the second row. That could be a whole different task, see how that works out the second row. Um, but for now, it's looking pretty good. Hey guys, so these are two that I'm gonna be putting on next. I just got these ones at Hot Topic, I wanna show them off. It's the metallic stitch and then the Elvis stitch. I have the, the Elvis stitch as a pop. There's never been a metallic stitch as a full size pop, but that would be pretty cool to see eventually. Um, but yeah, these two are going on next. I want to mention this too, guys. We have this weird one that I got from one of the subscription boxes, not subscription boxes, but like collector boxes. It's the Rick and Morty crown. This is the weirdest looking pocket pop ever. I mean, it doesn't look anything like a pocket pop. It's pretty much just a crown. All right, so there is the first row done. It is so weird how perfect this is. Um, I don't know why, but if you guys ever go to the Dollarama in Canada, get one of these if you're gonna buy Pocket Pops because that fits perfectly. And the way I put them on, they're pretty sturdy. I mean, I don't wanna shake them around or anything, um, but this could totally go on the wall, no problem. None of them would fall off. But yeah, there we go there, guys. Pretty awesome. This is our first row. Now, like I said, the second row might be a problem, so let's see how that goes. All right, so that's all of the ones that I have. I also, well, I actually have these three as well. They're gonna be going back in the box just because I have these two are doubles and then this one here I'm not exactly sure yet. Maybe if they had some more of them I could put them on towards the end um, But for right now, they're not going to and I actually don't know if they're gonna fit this way as well That would be something interesting So no, there's gonna be a little bit of room at the bottom But I think that's okay because you're not gonna want it to go all the way down anyway um, So we'll be able to get at least uh, five rows onto this which is great for four bucks Somewhere nice to display it. Actually the pins as well Maybe were like another two or three dollars at the dollar store So I got all of this for about like I would say seven to eight dollars. I don't remember exactly what the prices were. I also like that I have a lot of room left because I don't know if they're gonna have any more of these so I don't want to have to worry about buying another one. All right so the main room here was the biggest mess. It's a good thing we got the first two things done. I mean the to, to be honest the first room wasn't that messy. Um, I just want to clean up the table a bit but I thought I would do it in this video because otherwise I wouldn't be motivated to do it. So here we've got it and uh, this is all the pocket pops that are complete. I'll just kind of go through these here so you guys can see which ones I have maybe which ones you guys like. We do have some doubles but not many. Um, but there it is right there, guys, if you guys want to check out all of those. But yes, so the main thing we're going to be cleaning up today is these boxes, some Christmas stuff that I still have out from videos. Uh, maybe take those guys, put them in the storage room. And um, this, okay, here's the thing. These are the ones from buying out the store. I had to use these. I put them all into like piles so they're the right um, figures. So like those ones are all Fortnite. Those ones are all Disney, Star Wars, etc., etc. But 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to move these today. These are something that's gonna have to wait till another day because maybe this room will be like a separate video altogether because of how many things are actually messed up in here. Um, because this is a room where I just kind of dump my extra stuff. So this is a lot of the other video um, as well, like buying out the, uh, like whatever, the $4,000 worth of stuff. This is that there. So. This is gonna be cleaned up eventually. Um, this also has some of my Value Village and Goodwill finds, some of my Amiibos, some Pez. The Pez are actually gonna be going home and I'm gonna be doing a display there just because there isn't enough room here with the way I wanna display my pops. So all of these guys will eventually be going home to my house, so that'll be fun. Um, what else do we have? Like, the, yeah, like I said, guys, this is the nicest spot. I used to film in here like a couple times, uh, but there wasn't enough room to it. So, let's go in here, let's slowly pick up a couple things, and then we'll get out of here. Well, first, let's start with the cork board. Now let's put away these pops. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm-hmm. I don't know where this chair is going now, that's another problem. Now one pop that I do have a problem with here is the Han Solo in Millennium Falcon. So if anybody has an ideas on where I could put this in the room or the office, let me know because I actually have no clue. Here's what we've got in terms of spots and it's just so annoying because it's, it's a great figure but it's such an awkward box. That's the problem. Yeah, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Here's a funny one, guys. I found these pops on the bottom of the shelf over there, and I gotta put these in the right spots because this is some pretty cool ones. So we've got Chupacabra, the Minotaur, Energizer Bunny, which is a great figure, the flocked one. We've got Evil Groundskeeper Willie, Fred Flintstone, and Barney Rebels. I actually did just get the Wilma and Betty as well, so those will look great in the collection. Now, one of the main problems with my uh, figure setup here is that some of them fit just the right amount of figures. For example, um, if I got any more Fantastic Plastic characters, they would not fit. I don't know where I'd put them. I'd have to like figure that out. I actually do have one um, that I haven't put in yet because of that. So it fits exactly 30, and then that's it, because it goes three rows back. But over here, it's the same problem. I don't think we have any room for these two here, but I mean we can sometimes if you push on it oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, good looks like we have room for three actually so let's move that guy over um, So we remember that there is a spot, but yeah, let's put these two right in the front good I was worried about this. I did not know where I was gonna put those two and well I mean the Energizer Bunny's got a pretty obvious spot right over here in the ad icon section a lot of great figures over here we actually filled up a 45 section down there and are now working on our next 30 section here are the other ones that I have up here for the pop myths line I don't actually know if there's any room here because there's probably Sour Patch Kids yes Ugh. I might have to move the Sour Patch Kids now that we have two more of the uh, myths characters to put in here so yeah those four might be going somewhere else um, so that way we can fit in some new ones from the Miss line. All right, so it looks like these ones are going over here for now, only because this is like my odd, odd like sets or weird ones that I only have one of. So this is that area. Um, it's also some other ones like these game ones where I don't have enough room for the game ones over there. I should fix that up. We're not going to do it today because that's a lot of work to kind of like rework the entire set of shelves here. Um, but at least we can fit these two in now. Pretty snug. I mean, the sad part is you can't even tell they're there because they're behind the other ones, but at least they're in the right spot. And now the last one out of these six, the Evil Groundskeeper Willie. I have no clue who to push in the back here, um, because I like all these probably vampire burns. All right, we fixed it. Now this box, I gotta get this one out of here. This is the one that I got from GameStop for a video a long time ago, and it's just always been sitting in here because I haven't really like cared to take it out, to be honest. Um, so let's move this into the storage room, where you never know when you might need a box this big. All right, now this is a room we are not going to be worrying about today. Ignore pretty much everything in here. Just, okay, okay, D don't don't look around. No, blur this all out, blur it all out. All right, guys, well, that was a great start for today. I know there's still a huge mess around, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that. Like, the Dig Dug machine right now is just sitting on top of a cardboard box that it came in, so I gotta work on that. I also gotta work on the pile of pops behind you guys, or right behind the camera there. That's gonna be something I gotta fix up as well. Um. I don't know where I'm gonna be putting them for now because I do want to do some fun stuff with them like giveaways and um, If we do videos, maybe you could like win figures in them and stuff like that But for now they're gonna have to just sit there So we're working on that the pocket pops are coming along nice I'm probably gonna bring that whole board home if I can um, And we'll put some more on it at home and then I'll send I'll put up photos on Instagram and stuff like that If you guys want to check that out over at top hops YT um, Maybe I'll post a couple there, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today guys Like I said, I did some cleaning. It's, it's a lot of much-needed cleaning. That's 
that's for sure. Um, I'm kind of getting there with a lot of it. Um, it's not clean um, by any means, but I am working on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more of my cleaning stuff, uh, let me know because it's really just me showing off figures while putting them back in the right spot, to be honest. So if you guys like to see that where I kind of go around and look at my collection a little bit more, but before we get out of here, guys, I want to talk about something that uh, I have been working on as well as Rye the Pop Guy. So let me pull up my laptop here. This is a Discord server. Now, if you guys don't know what those are, it's just a place where you can go and chat and talk about stuff. But we have it all about Funko Pops. And what we've got here is over 100 people already just from me promoting it on my old Discord, the Top Pops one, which is kind of over. Um... We tried with it, but it just it just didn't click because it's pretty much just us talking about my figures and stuff like that, and uh, you know not much about everybody else. So what this is here, guys, it's called Everything Funko. I'll have the top link in the description down below if you guys want to check this out. Um, right now we have Funko General where you guys can just talk about your figures and show off your collection. We've got Funko News where all of the latest um, Funko figures that are coming out we will drop links there, and you guys can check them out right away. We also have a marketplace where you guys can go and sell and trade pops if you guys want to, and then we. Have have the support room where you guys if you have any questions about stuff uh, you can ask us also if you're a smaller or you know just a youtuber um, in general that makes Funko videos you guys can go there and promote your YouTube channel or your Instagram or your uh, Twitter stuff like that guys you guys can go to the self promo section and just drop down a link right there for your newest video or a new post that you put up and you guys want people to check out um, but overall guys it's a really great um, place the last one went well but because it was just talking about like my stuff and my videos, it was too niche to kind of have an audience there. Um, we did have about a thousand people on there though, so it was really fun. But if you guys want to check out this one, like I mentioned, it'll be the top link in the description down below. We're having a lot of fun with it. Noah's on here as well. Um, we've got Ryan, like I mentioned, a couple other people that I've seen. And like I had said, guys, if you want to see more of these types of videos, let me know in the comment section below. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Guys, I don't know how I do it, but somehow the table's already messy again. How? What?